Kevin. Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Kellen and Tim here from Droid Life doing sort of a uh, special kind of show today. Since we haven't had a, been able to do a show for a couple weeks with so much tech events, traveling, all kinds of stuff going on, we thought we'd just at least get together and chat about some of the things going on, especially, or in particular, the Moto X, since it's sort of taking the world by storm in sort of an interesting way that we haven't seen in a while. Uh, but yeah, we just wanted to get together and talk for a few minutes, let you guys sort of maybe drop some questions or thoughts in the chat if you want. And we're just going to kind of roll through some Moto X stuff, and then we're going to maybe start talk a little bit about Nexus 7, the new ones. We haven't done that, and maybe Chromecast. I don't know. We just kind of wanted to chat. We haven't, we haven't seen you guys in a while or something. So, it's been uh, too long. It, it has been has been too long. So let's just start with the Moto X. Obviously, that's the uh, the topic of the of the month, if you will, or the quarter. Um, so we've got the uh, white Verizon one. It's actually a really nice looking device in hand or in person. And uh, so yeah, here's the white one of Verizon. We will uh, you know we'll have a full review and all that stuff coming up soon. But uh, I guess I'll start by just kind of walking you through how yesterday went down. Because yesterday was like the big reveal, the disappointment, if you will, from a lot of people because of the price and all that stuff. So so yesterday, Motorola had a bunch of press in New York City to do sort of, not one-on-one, -on -one, I guess I should say small group press events. Now, there's a bunch of confusion around this. Everyone kept, ask, kept asking us, like, when's the live feed and all that stuff. So what they did was a little different. They had small groups of press took us all through a presentation and then let us sort of get our hands on all the colored models in Moto Maker and told us, you know, what's going on. And they gave us review units to check out. So we did that and then we obviously all had an embargo of 3 p.m. Eastern, which is when like the world exploded, I think, a little bit. Like I think a little bit of piece of the world is missing after 3 p.m. So that happened. We pushed everything out and everyone just went, holy what? 199 on contracts? 575 off contract, where's the $300 phone, what's with the specs, it's just like the Droid Ultra, yada, yada, yada. So that happened, and we've sort of just been there ever since, right? I mean, we pushed out all this stuff, but I still get the feeling that everyone's still, like, fail, right? Is that sort of the feeling you're getting? Yeah, definitely. I think the overall feeling from people who haven't had a chance to really see the phone in action is still, like, what the heck? I mean, Moto kind of dropped the ball. They really, I think they really thought that this was going to be Moto's just rebirth, and um, it may not seem like that to a lot of people, but I think with all the marketing that Moto is going to put into the phone, I think we could see a potentially pretty big success for the X. That's just yeah. Me. I, <laughs> yeah. So I I talked with I talked with Punit Sony. They're like VP of product management, who just actually on Google Plus talked about bootloaders and stuff, which we can get to in a second. But I was talking to him, and he's like, you know, this is the, I think what he said was, this is the googliest thing I've ever done, like as in Google related, you know, it's Motorola, you know, because he was with Google for like five years or something, and now he's with Motorola. But because like this is the phone they feel is the closest thing to a Motorola Google product as you'll find, even though they, it's weird, right? A couple people referenced that. Like, Eric Schmidt was there yesterday. I don't know if I told you that. Eric Schmidt was there, too. And so, like, Google and Motorola keep saying they're separate, but they keep talking about this phone being, like, the first thing that's, like, Google-inspired. So it's kind of weird. But anyways, I was talking to him, and he we talked about specs, and I was like, you know, you guys didn't go with, like, 1080p and all this. And he's like, yeah, but he goes, the regular consumer doesn't care about that stuff. He's like, look at... He, he didn't say iPhone, but he goes, look at those, like, Apple products. He goes, the people that buy those don't care about that stuff. They just want this phone that's, like, marketed to them well. Well, he didn't necessarily say that, but I think that's what he's getting at. You know, it's, like, marketed to them well. It's it's all about the experience rather than, hey, we got, like, a super-duper quad-core awesome processor. And so I think when you talk about success that you mentioned, it's going to be on a different level, I think, than we're you do with an Android phone, their level of success is going to be based on just getting it to as many people as possible rather than like a, like appealing to the tech geek crowd, which is kind of what we are, if that makes sense. And so I think that's why we're seeing like this internet outrage because we're all tech geeks. We like live on the internet. Like we want specs and a good price. And yeah. we got not really either of those on paper. Correct. Sense. Exactly. I think the experience is where it's going to have to shine for the Moto X. Um, from all the videos I saw and all that, I mean, there doesn't seem to be 
any general jankiness, you know, that kind of like comes right. with Android. The phone looks to perform really well, and it's got only the S4 Pro, dual core, Snapdragon, and um, it's not clocked super high or anything like that, but it just looks to perform perfect. It's two gigs of RAM, though, so, I mean, it's going to be able to run whatever. I think people just need to, like, take a breather and realize that the spec wars may be over, and that's right. it could just all be about... Um, you know, optimizing what we already have hardware-wise. So, and if, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, the price is still a little lame. Yeah, so, like, I, I I said a couple times already, like, everyone, like you just said, everyone needs to, like, take a breather. And, like, I think I even said, like, you just need to give this phone a chance. And, like, somebody was like, oh, Motorola's paying you guys. Like, oh, yeah. we're, te- we're telling you to give <laughs> yeah. this phone a chance because everyone, like, instantly just flipped and was like, this phone sucks, fail, I don't care. And, like, it's one of those phones, like, I think you'd be, it would be sad to see you not at least go pick it up, play with it, and give it a second. I'm not saying go buy the thing. Like, oh. we're still going to uh, review and decide if it's, like, really that great of a phone. But, like, my first experiences with it are, it's actually a pretty nice little phone. Like, you should go check it out in case it really could win you over type of thing. Um, but, yeah, like, as far as performance goes, so I've had it since... Um, 11 a.m. Eastern yesterday, and been using it as much as I can, and it like it's it it's really fast. There's no jank, as you like to say. It's fluid. It's smooth. Like before we went on air, I was telling Tim like when you in Google now since it has on-screen buttons, like on the old Nexus 7 or the Galaxy Nexus, like when you swipe up on Home to get to Google now, there's like this delay, this like jaggedy, janky delay that doesn't exist on this phone, and it's using you know what people might even consider a lesser processor. But it's not, which is a whole other story. Like, the processor is actually fairly new. Like, it's Crate 300 cores in it, which are what's in the Snapdragon 600. There's just not four of them. It's got the same GPU that's in that processor. So, like, it actually is, like, a pretty new top-of-the-line processor. It's just not quad-core. But, like, we're going on and on about this stuff. But the phone overall, in my first 24 hours with it, is pretty damn positive. I think that's all that matters. Yeah. At least for now. Yeah, Tell me in a week. Yeah. Tell me in a week how you feel. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, yeah, because obviously, you know, I'm just in love with it because I have it right now. But, yeah, right. It could, it's could a pretty phone, change. too. Like, all the pictures and stuff. It just, it's kind of gorgeous. And with all the customization stuff, at least from AT&T to start out with, like, that's really exciting. I mean, that's something yeah. completely new. And um, I think a lot of people are going to jump on board with that, especially the fact where if you can go into AT&T, play with the phone, you fall in love, and then you can buy that card or whatever and take yeah. it home and build your own. I think yeah. that's really cool. I think Moto... Oh, and like with the wood? All right, first off, shout out to Ron, who uh, was always doubting the wood bags <laughs> yeah. because you can't fly with it. So <laughs> Ron. suck on that, Ron. So... <laughs> So we have wood backs, and I'm super happy about that because I'm going ebony all the way. Got to have it. <laughs> You're going ebony. <laughs> yeah, so so let's talk about the customization stuff for a minute because that stuff, like, that's pretty cool. Like, you really – I walked through the whole, like, online thing. And, yeah, I mean, like, you get to choose all this stuff. There's, like, 360 pictures. they And all the colors they picked, like, I personally like them all. There's nothing, like, really wild and crazy, but they're all – well, and then there's the wood. I don't know. Everything they picked, I liked. Like, I could have designed, like, 30 different phones and been in love with all of them. But but so you walk through all that, and there's, like, you can do accents for, like, the power lock switch and the camera ring. Like, they really thought out this whole this whole uh, sort of designing your own thing. Um, but the fact that you design it on there, press purchase, and in less than four days, in most cases, you have a custom phone from Which Texas. Legit. That's, that's, that's legit. pretty awesome. Um, they also told me that the white and black versions, like the standard versions, are also made in Texas. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if anyone knew that. but um, Yeah, so they're making them all there. And they're, they're doing all sorts of stuff. Like when you go on and say like everyone's ordering like like teen phones all at once, and they can like, it'll automatically update and tell you like if that part's delayed or that color like has an extra long wait for it or something like that. Like it's all like happening in real time. Sounds like yeah. they're doing some pretty cool like manufacturing stuff, but but then the other side of that is AT&T is getting it first, only AT&T, and that's complete shit. And I will say that like I walked <laughs> in there, 
Well, first of all, we sat through this presentation and they told us that, and none of the press people like said anything. But like the minute I got into the back room to do like hands on, it's the first thing I said. They were like, "What do you think?" And I was like, "This Moto Maker stuff's awesome, but everyone that reads our site's gonna be pissed that this is an AT and T only thing." And they're like, "Oh uh, yeah, well it's coming soon to other ones. We don't have anything to announce." I'm like, "I'm just telling you right now, you're gonna I'm just hear telling it. you, yeah, yeah, like, you're gonna hear it." I don't know what the deal is. You know, I don't know. You know, if it's just AT and T just shelling out cash money to get all these exclusives, Probably. but that's BS, I think. And of course, Verizon's not going to bother wasting any more money on that type of stuff when you have like the whole Droid brand to worry about. Right. But uh, right. it still sucks for consumers who want to be able to choose which phone they want, no matter what carrier they're on. And um, so hopefully it comes at least in time for the holidays or something where people can get a custom Moto X on Verizon or something. Yeah, that's sort of what I'm thinking. We're going to see it like um, like October or something. Verizon will finally launch it. Like AT&T got like a three or four month exclusive on it. Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah. Um, as that's you brutal. can see possibly in the chat, people are curious about the phone's battery performance and also its camera performance. Any word oh, on yeah, that? So yeah, so it was tough for me to really test battery yesterday because um, I was on a plane for like six hours, and so I had it. I was using my phone from the plane though, um, but you know I was in airplane mode on Wi-Fi. But let me just see. I took some screenshots because I knew everyone was going to want to know. Let's see. I got so yesterday first charge. I got ten hours, fifteen minutes with eighteen percent remaining, and that was with three and a half hours of screen on time. Not bad. That seems pretty good to me. For the first charge, three and a half hours of screen on time. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Again, that was the first charge. Also, again, I was on a plane for five hours. So, it's going to be a little skewed. But again, I was hammering on it right away because I was oh, setting yeah. it up and all that stuff. So, I don't know. The battery life has been fine. Um, I haven't really hammered on it enough today to really test it, but this weekend I will. But so far, like, let me look today. I'm and yours is on Verizon, yeah? Yeah, it's Verizon's. So, I'm at 68% right now. After five and a half hours, my screen on time hasn't been that much, only 40 minutes. So I haven't really been killing it today, but that's not too bad. I don't know. And I have two bars of LTE at my house. So, uh. Uh, But yeah, any custom station stuff's cool. They are, um, Motorola is going to let all the press people that were there actually like customize their own in a few weeks. So we'll have a custom one. A pink we'll, like, one? Yeah, I don't know if they make pink, do they? I don't know if that was one of the colors. How could they not make pink? I don't know. You know, it was funny. I was talking to a couple of Moto people at the event, and like I was designing one when I was going through that tutorial. And I think two of them said, "Like, how come it's not pink? Like, oh, Droid Life's yeah. pink." And I was like, "Oh, your readers, huh?" We actually had one of their like product managers say that he reads Droid Life a lot, and I was like, "Oh, wow." Moto should love us. I mean, yeah. come on now. Yeah, they Keep should. We show so much love to the OG. <laughs> the OG. Yeah. So customization stuff, cool. Actually, so I'll, I'll share a, a little story this morning. So driving wife to work and uh, handed her my phone. So every time I get a new phone, this is just one of those like tests I do, I hand her the phone and I go, here's a new phone, just tell me what you think, it's like initial reaction. Yeah. And she's like, oh, it's small. She goes, but how big is the screen? And I was like, oh. <laughs> and she's like, okay. I was like, so it's a little bit smaller than your Galaxy S4 because she has Galaxy. And she's like, okay. And so she started playing with it. She goes, this is really cool. And I was like, yeah, it feels nice because it's small, right? And she goes, yeah. And then I tried to show her um, I tried to show her the, uh, I, I keep forgetting the damn name, the voice action stuff, the Google Now. It's not active control, act, not active display. It's the other one. Touchless control. Touchless. So I tried to show her that while we were driving, and it was like a total failure. Like it would kind of kick on, but it could never finish like everything I was saying to it. So I'll, I'll have more on that later. Uh, but so I was showing her that, which she thought was cool, assuming it worked. She liked the camera wrist trick, even though that takes like three tries sometimes. Even though it was janky? Yeah, but she was like, oh, that's kind of cool. But then after, so after she was playing with it, she goes, well, what's the camera like? And she opened that up, and I was like, well, it's, all you have to do is just like touch anywhere, and it takes a picture. And she's like, oh, that's pretty cool. I was like, yeah, you could touch the focus if you want, but there's no like stuff, and she seemed okay with it. But then I go, and what's really cool is like you can customize your own, and she was like, Hell yes. Like, that's when she was like, I could see that. Like, I totally want to make my own phone. So that's why. So I think, like, Motorola, whether, you know, you're you're buying into the price and all that or not, like, when they start showing commercials where you can customize your own phone, like, people are going to be all over that, I think. Like, there's, like, a massive oh, yeah. iPhone market where you can, like, custom color, like, your iPhone, and people, like, love that. Except Motorola is doing it for free. 
Like mm-hmm. it's not an additional charge. Like you exactly. still pay the price. Yeah, you it's just pay the on-contract price, and it's great. Yeah, I think, it, and that's really cool. The engraving and stuff. Plus, it comes in wood, so uh, you can't really, you can't argue with that. I kind of, I was, I wish it kind of came in like a carbon fiber though. Like, there's a couple materials that I wish it would have had. Um, maybe some more like metallic type of stuff, but that's fine, whatever. And I thought there was going to yeah. be like a cloth one, but I guess that didn't come to fruition. Well, they definitely made it sound like um, they're going to... What, what they were trying to say was they have like this manufacturing process set up that they can test new materials, or if they decide to introduce a new one, they can do it really easily. That'd be awesome. So, yeah, and so what they're going to do in the coming weeks, or maybe in the next month or so, is like on Facebook, they're going to do a poll where they're going to put up like a bunch of different colors like that they don't offer right now and like say vote on what's your favorite new color scheme and then you can like people can vote and then they'll add that to the like their store so they're going to continue to like grow it and make like new options available I'm sure you'll see special edition stuff you can imagine they could partner with like artists and do like artist series and things oh, like that be- like there's all sorts of stuff I mean it's kind of like this is like the ground level and you can you can see they can just kind of take it wherever they want to go assuming, assuming it's successful yeah, apparently they have a pink one that people can vote on on their site already. So, oh, okay, so that's already up then. So there's yeah. our pink one. Absolutely. Pink. DL readers, go. Pink. Go, we need DL it. readers. Although I would never, I'm sorry, I would never carry a pink phone with me. I don't care what no. color our site is, it's not, I'm not going to have a pink phone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as much as we love pink, yeah, I don't necessarily want my phone, my phone to be pink. <laughs> That's not yeah. happening. So the how about the camera quality though? Like I get the UI is cool and all that, but the yeah. actual pictures. I've known Motorola to make the worst camera sensors in the business. <laughs> right. How does this one compare? Let me just look at a couple. So I haven't had a chance to just like go out and like take a bunch of really good pictures in like decent light or anything. So we're gonna need to do some type of camera comparison between the S4, the One, and the Nexus Four yeah. or something like that. Yeah, so I took one, like, yesterday when I was having lunch trying to get, like, all of our initial stuff up. I took some from the plane that look okay. I took one in low light on the plane that actually turned out better than I thought. Hey. So I haven't had a chance to take, like, any really good ones. But so far, I wouldn't say it's bad. It seems to be better than previous cameras that Motorola has done, but that's not saying much, right? So, Mm-mm. yeah, I don't I don't have stay on the camera yet. I really, like, this weekend I'll take a ton of pictures and see what happens. Yeah, we'll try to do a comparison and stuff. The camera seems fairly fast, like, the touch anywhere to take a picture. It happens yeah. fairly fast. It's not, like, completely instant, though. And, like, when you do the hold down to take multiple pictures, it seems a little slower. Like, if you have an HTC One or Galaxy S4 and you do a burst shot, like, it's so crazy fast. Just this snap. one's not. This one's not that fast. But, uh... It's yeah, probably because it's, it's got mid-range specs, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> haters. Haters gonna hate. Haters, haters gonna hate. Haters are everywhere. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I'll, I'll Moto X. Camera. But, yeah, um, just, just to, like, my thoughts on, like, the price in general. I keep going through this in my mind, right? Because everyone... Okay, so yesterday while I was, like, pushing out all this stuff after all this hands-on time, like, I didn't have a chance to read the reaction. So, like, you were kind of feeding it to me a little bit. And then I could kind of see it on Twitter a little bit when I had a minute to glance at Twitter. But, like... It was bad. People are, like... <laughs> They're pissed. really mad, like, angry about this thing. Um, and, and so I've been trying to decide, like, if I just think that's, like, not the right way to react to it or if, you know, they should react that way... Um, I guess, like, at 199 I keep saying, because I'm still part of this whole spec war thing, because that's what we've done for the last, what, like, well, ever since the, the, the site started, basically, right, we've been talking about spec, 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 specs, because they just, like, came onto us so fast, mm-hmm. that, like, even I'm struggling to be, like, oh, forget the spec wars, like, 199's <laughs> fine, like, you're fine, just buy the phone, like, even I'm struggling a little bit to be, like, it's kind of hard to ignore... Like, the fact that the Galaxy S4 is sitting right next to it with a full 1080p display, a bigger battery, a 13-megapixel camera, a newer processor, more powerful processor, which and probably has similar battery life, and it's the same price as this phone. That you know, so I'll admit, even I'm struggling a little bit to just fully buy into the idea that this is priced right. So, yeah, I don't really know where, what to think there. It's kind of a downer. I know people aren't very happy about it, at least from the hundreds of comments we've seen. But I don't know. I don't really have my own. I haven't been able to form my own opinion. I don't know if I feel like it feels worthy of that price, maybe once yeah. I get to play with it. But 
I mean, just from seeing it, it seems, you know, it's like it's a high-end device. So, I mean, you know, people chose to have a hobby in, like, an expensive hobby. I'm sorry that smartphones are expensive, but they just are. I guess they were more expecting kind of a Nexus 4 pricing to where Google right. would kind of control it to keep it real low. But right. uh, Motorola is not looking to take a hit on hardware, I think, like Google can. I mean, they can afford right. just to, like, lose millions of dollars, but it's not going to look good for Moto. So... Right, Moto still essentially needs They're to make still a Moto. Money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. So, yeah, like the phone in hand, it feels like a premium device, um, but it also feels really small, even though it has a big display. So I think, you know, part of the problem could be, too, that, like, mm-hmm. we're so used to, like, this bigger is better thing in this world or this country in general, and so that could be Ooh, throwing uh, people off a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that price is tough. I, I keep seeing people in the in the chat saying, like, yeah, the Google Play one might be cheaper. cheaper. I don't think we know that. I don't know that that's been confirmed. I think somebody said The Verge said it's going to be cheaper in Google Play. I don't know that I wasn't told that. So if it is, that's awesome. Like... But at the same time, like, do we really think that they're just going to undercut everyone through Google Play and, and screw all the carriers that they just made this giant announcement with? I don't know if I believe that. It's not like they did that with the Samsung or the HTC or anything. Those are still right. pretty high priced. They're not lower just because they're running vanilla Android or anything like that. So, Right, and so I guess like Google and Motorola keep telling us they're separate, right? So yeah. if if there's one way, and the reason they're, they're doing not. that is to, <laughs> right? So the reason they're doing that is because they don't want to just like piss off all their other partners. So if yeah. there's one way that you really want to piss off a couple of good partners is you sell the Google Play Store version at three hundred dollars, and then and while Samsung and HTC are at full price, I don't, I don't know. I just don't know if that makes sense. I hope that happens. That'd be awesome, but it'd be awesome. But I think it'd be a bad move by Google because then yeah. I think Sam- Samsung would just be forced basically to say, "All right, well, screw you guys. We're just gonna go do our own thing now. We are huge. We can pretty much make anything we want now without you guys." So, and then you yeah, lose your your biggest partner probably. So, I don't yeah, know. it would seem kind of like a slap in the face or something. I don't know. It would. Like, be. I don't know that I that I like that idea. I like the idea, but yeah, I don't know if it's a good move. I hope so, I guess. Yeah, so Google Play one is is apparently coming, though Motorola wasn't really that open to talking about that yesterday from what I could tell. The Play um, Edition? But, yeah, the, yeah, what did I say? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, the Play Edition. Um, so today, Motorola's Puna Sony, just like within the last hour, said that the T-Mobile Sprint and US Cellular versions will have an unlockable bootloader out the gate. Boom. And then, uh, there will be a developer edition for Verizon, and then also just a general North America developer edition, which we assume just means it works on AT&T. Because um, they told me there's going to be an unlocked, as in SIM unlocked version. Maybe they were talking about this North American version, and it works on AT&T's LTE, so that must be the one he's talking about. So you have options, folks, if you want really that unlockable bootloader thing going on. There are a lot of options. It's pretty sweet. I, I think there are. The phone is pretty okay. exciting. I don't know why people are so crazy see, upset. Yeah, see, I, I, I think, think it's really exciting too, just because it's something so different. Yeah. And I like I want to make my own phone. Like that's I'm really excited to like make a custom phone that's not just black or not just white. Like those are the two colors. Well, we've got the silver with HTC, and I know Samsung's done like some blue and red phones, but like Motorola is letting you choose every little color on everything. All of Samsung's custom color, like S4s, though, the reds and all that stuff, it looks like crap. Like, I don't like their their special colors or any of that. Like, they do, like, autumn brown or something. It just looks like poop. Like, it, it's yeah. they're disgusting colors. So. Well, they have poop color, like, every time. Like, every time they're like, Galaxy S3 <laughs> and 4 in brown, and you're like, who yeah. wants a brown phone? <laughs> no one like, wants that's a brown weird. phone. Unless it's made of wood. Like, why would you want it? Exactly. Well, they're trying to imitate because they're inspired by nature. They just can't put nature on the yeah. phone. So. And by the way, like I keep seeing people say like that the the wood versions of the Moto X are faux wood. I'm pretty it's sure not, they're real wood. I don't like think everything so. I heard said that they're like real wood. So I don't know where that came from. Well, maybe the real wood wouldn't be able to fly. So maybe Ron Ron was <laughs> Ron was right. You can't fly with the wood version. Yeah. Oh, and as in the in the chat, as Jiggy's pointing out, Engadget reported that the all the custom versions you order are unlock have unlockable bootloaders. 
So, and I don't think Engadget would write that if they didn't think it was 100% true. So, if you custom order one for at least at and I'm assuming, since they're doing it first, you might have an unlockable bootloader, which is kind of awesome if you're on at and Yeah. That'd be dope. Yeah. So, it's a cool little phone, dude. It is. And I, I can't stop, like, this whole, like, um, active display thing. It seriously is, like, the greatest thing ever. Like, you just pull the phone out of your pocket, and it's, like, showing you everything you want. Like have you made have some calls on it? People are asking about the radios. How's the call? You know, we, we run a cell phone blog, but we never talk about making calls. No, we don't. Because who, <laughs> makes, who makes phone calls? Uh, I have talked on the phone. It sounds fine. I don't know really what else to say. Like, phones for the last, like, two or three years, like, they sound... They just sound fine. Like, they sound fine. <laughs> Like apparently, when we get VOLTE, we'll have like HD voice, and like maybe you'll tell the difference then. But right now, like it's just a phone call, and it sounds fine. Oh, the speaker <laughs> on the back, though. People always want to know how the speaker is. So it's no boom sound, but it sounds really good. Like it's a pretty loud speaker for just being a little solo speaker on the back. Um, sounds really good. It's pretty loud. So that's good. Motorola's always had pretty loud speakers, though, haven't they? Yeah, they're loud. It's just, I mean. Coming from the one to any other phone, it's all yeah. just when it comes to external speakers, it's all crap. Boom yeah, sound I mean, boom, all the boom way. sound is like the greatest thing for speakers yeah. ever. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely the killing feature of the one. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know what say about it, um, it's kind of cool that it's going to all carriers. So anyone who wants it has the option. Um, I don't know. Little pre- it's a premium little device. It just doesn't have a quad core 600 and the 1080p display. So I've heard that Motorola went 720p on purpose because they think 1080p displays are just battery hogs. Like I heard that from at least three people. Hmm. Not yesterday, just like before the announcement. Like three different people were like, "Yeah, they went 720p because it's doesn't it's not a battery killer." Galaxy S4 seems to do just fine with 1080p display. Well, <laughs> well see, and that's the thing, right? So like they said that, and I was like, "Yeah, you're probably right." But, um, yeah, like, the Galaxy <laughs> S4 seems to be okay. And even the HTC One has pretty good battery life. Although Yeah, the One's not terrible. But the Galaxy S4 also does have a 2600 milliamp hour, so it's a little bit bigger. But Definitely. But, but you I mean, you're right, though. Like, it's not like it has terrible battery life. So. The, well, oh, the S4 or the yeah, One? Yeah, the, the S4. It's oh, like the S4 has, has, like, pretty really good, good battery life. It lasts yeah. a full day. Like, it, it can last a full yeah. day with good usage, no doubt. Right. So. so, so Motorola said that, but yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of with you. I'm not. I'm not sure that I'm fully like buying that idea. Um, the processor thing, you know, you, the, the processor's fine in here. It, it it really is. Like they've done enough stuff to it that like it's not gonna bog down. From what I can tell, it's got the same GPU that's in the Galaxy S4 and HTC One. So all your gaming needs are gonna be fine. Like you're gonna play all the games at the same level. In fact, you'll probably play them better. Because it has a 720p display, so it'll be able to like frame rates. 60 will be frames, 60 frames yes. a second. So if you want to game on this phone, it technically might game better than it will on than things would on the Galaxy S4 HTC One. But what about on the nice. Shield? Is it going to game better than the Shield? Here? I don't know. <laughs> Does anything game better on the Shield? No. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. So, yeah, I don't know. Anything else to say about the uh, Murto X? Merger, hey, no, no. It's pretty exciting, though. Other than that, I'm, I'm still... Headphone jack on the top sucks. I'm happy with it. It seems all right. So, Me too. Excited to get yeah. some hands on. Yeah, so they've done this... Oh, here's one other thing. They've done this cool thing with the display, like, um, where they really did, like, mold it around the sides. Kind of mm-hmm. like the Nexus 4 a little bit, but even more. Like, it really is smooth and round. Yeah, people, like, people were asking about it because we never really touched on it because I don't think they made a big point about the... Yeah, they, they didn't they kinda said a little bit but not much. Like it really does like I know it's like impossible to see. Impossible. But it's to just tell. yeah, it's rounded from like the whole side. So it's like a single layer of glass that wraps around the side. Yeah. See, well so, what looked weird is that it looked as if the screen was kind of like indented or not completely flush with the actual it almost uh, looked like it was had a bumper around it. Like is that no. but is it flat or is there like a little hump around the so, sides? So it looks like that. Um and there might be just like this slight kind of bump. It's it's really hard. Like you, I just, I can't like explain how it looks. But like <laughs> it almost looks like the front's indented a little bit there. You can see it up top, but it's not. It's actually like flush, and it's like this rounded. I don't know. 
terrible video there. Uh, but yeah, it feels crazy because it's just this round, smooth edge that then takes you up on top of the display. So Can it feels see? really cool. <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> yeah. Um, so we sent Dave to the... Uh, so Motorola, after all this press stuff, they had a party, like a launch party last night in New York. And so we sent Dave to it. And uh, he got Lucky, there and he's yeah. like, I don't... He's like, I don't see the phone anywhere. I'm like, dude, it's got to be there somewhere. <laughs> got to so meet she, it. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, you're going to love this thing. I was like, because he had a Razer M forever, and he kept using the Razer M. I don't know if you remember that. And I was like, you're a Razer M guy. You're going to love this phone because it feels the same but better and has a better display and all this other stuff. And he's like, I don't know. And he picked it up and was just like, this is awesome. He like, He's like, I want to write an opinion piece because everyone's being so mean to it. <laughs> he's like, I want to tell everyone that it actually is awesome in person. So. Yeah. Yeah. It looks awesome. Well, Eric was saying the same thing. He's like, I really want to write, like, just an opinion on why people should stop hating on the X. I'm like, dude, you haven't yeah. even touched the thing yet. You're yeah. not writing anything <laughs> about the X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's... There's just been it's I I don't know that we've seen anything quite like this, have we? Where like it went from everyone was like, This is my phone to No the we have. announced to just gone Err. No, see people were hating just on the idea that we're hype beasting the X, we're hype beasting the X, and then it comes out and they don't like it, and so they kind of like blame us for still being excited and happy with it, like like we kind of did with the Bionics, except no one liked the Bionic after oh, it came right. out, you know? So they were right. like, well, what about the Bionic? I mean, we hyped it, and it was supposed to be awesome, and then it turned out not to be awesome. So I, I think we've seen the whole the uh, polar difference kind of happen before, but like for this That's one... True. For this one, it's pretty extreme. I'd it's pretty say. extreme. It went from like people just going, like everyone before the announcement. Seriously, like no one could stop talking about it, even though they knew everything other than price. They were like still gonna make it their next phone. And it seems like since yesterday, everyone's just gone to. Although we've. I just got cut off. Are we back? It, well, it says on air, but I don't know. <laughs> it does say on air. Well, That's we'll just keep air. chatting for a minute, but I think I just got cut now I'm back. But anyways, yeah, I mean, it, it went from I, everyone really excited to, like, giant, massive failure. and I, just, I think people just need to give it a chance. It's really yeah. a pretty nice little phone. Just go get your hands on it and then decide if you think it's worth $200 on contract or 600 off. Can you see your uh, video? Because I can't see your video. Oh, I'm seeing me and you, yes. Oh, really? I'm only seeing me, and I'm seeing your logo. Oh, I think I'll probably come back. Just give it a minute. All right. No rush. Just yeah. making sure. Uh, but let's just wait a minute to see if everyone knows that we're back. Oh, yeah, there we are. You're back. Welcome back. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. So I wanted to touch up on, because we were talking about the, the polar office stuff, but then so we did the poll kind of after everyone had a chance to see the specs and see the unboxing and all that stuff, and we're like, so are you buying the Moto X? And um, 10,000 plus votes. And, like, we always have a really good um, response for our polls. And uh, I take our polls as, like, the Bible. I mean, there's nothing, right. like, that is the definitive answer for the entire world. And 61% uh, of people, more than 6,000 votes, said no, absolutely not. Um, 28%, around 2,800 votes said still deciding, and only 11%, a little, little over 1,000 votes, said yes, I'm buying the X. And I think, um, I don't know if we did a poll, like, we should have just done, like, a poll beforehand. Are, are you thinking about buying the X, or are you going to buy it? But, I mean, to come out with uh, 61%, you know, more than one out of two people just straight up saying no, I think that's pretty, it's pretty crazy how things change. It is, um, but those, like, there's so many phones out there now, you know, people have upgraded to the Galaxy S4, and, you know, they own ones, and they own other stuff, and there's droids now, like, for people to just all jump onto one phone, I, I almost think it's impossible, unless you're, like, Samsung or Apple, right, because you've sort of made yourself this nice little, like, space in the market, so I don't know, I mean, you've got... That's what, almost 40% of people are like either yes or still considering it, though, which is not too bad, but yeah. Yeah. Still pretty I crazy. Think, I think if the price would have been like $400 off contract, that would that poll would look a lot different. That would help. A lot different. Definitely. Yeah. 
Oh well, so, sorry, yeah. Moto. <laughs> I'll I will, I will forward them the poll because everyone's like forward them the poll. I will. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell if they're gonna sell a ton of these yet or not. Um, I think that we'll see. We'll see how good of a job they do marketing. I think is what it's gonna come down to, because they're gonna have to market it up with Samsung. So uh, it should it should be interesting to see what they do. First couple commercials are out. We'll see if they can uh, see if they can make magic happen and make a comeback. Uh, well, it's AT and T that's gonna want to be advertising the X along with them, because I mean they mm -hmm. can, they're the ones with the custom stuff. Mm -hmm. So they're like, hmm, yeah, just make uh, AT and T spend a ton of money on marketing. That's fine. Yeah, well, it's I gonna be, gonna be fun. Dumb, but yeah, Mot I think Motorola is gonna put this thing everywhere, like everywhere, and not just like Twitter. Feeling. Like HTC. Yeah, not just like weird pictures. Not on free adver not free advertising. HTC, Come on. Right. <laughs> All right, uh, you want to move out of Moto X, or is there anything else? Trying no, that's it anything. from Moto Let's X see. for me. We can always come back to it. What other? What other? Devices came out recently that we need to talk about. Pretty much everything of this year came out within the last two weeks, and we haven't done a show. Chromecast. Chromecast. Yeah, I got my I got my Chromecast. I have yet to hook it up, but I do have it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's worthless to me. <laughs> this is this is like my third one, I think. This is like a new one in box, but I have a mm. couple other around here. So wait, you think it's you think it's it's worthless to you? So only so, to me. I think the device itself is really cool for someone who doesn't have a TV that's already capable of doing all that stuff. Like I just upgraded my TV, so it already has Hulu, Netflix, YouTube built right. in, and I could actually um. So like that logo for the Chromecast logo, I saw that logo like almost two weeks before they announced the Chromecast, because I could always like push my stuff right to my TV once I got the new TV. So I've been doing that for a while now. Sorry. <laughs> Like and I know you, I know your TV is capable of it too. Yeah, but um, it so really, I can't do anything special with the Chromecast besides um, mirroring my desktop to the TV that I couldn't already do. So okay. what can I say? Sorry, I like it. It's a nice little piece of hardware. I just don't need it. Yeah. So can we just like brag for a second? Because we. Uh... I love bragging. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like two, two. I think it was two months, almost two months before they announced this thing, oh, and we, yeah. we, we, we told the good. world every single detail about the Chrome key. It was called then. Right. Like ev like everything. Like we right. told the world everything. We had. And I saw like a few details. sites go. Can you believe Google kept this thing like a secret for so long? And I was like, what are you talking about? That's not a secret. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, just wanted to say that, yeah. Um. I think it's a cool little thing. I mean, like like you said, I, I have a smart TV too, so I've been able to do most of the stuff, and I don't necessarily see any sort of situation where I'm going to need to mirror my like MacBook to my yeah. TV anytime soon. But that could be really useful for I don't know business people, other people that aren't you and I, I guess. Um, but yeah, if you have like an older TV that's not a smart TV, as long as it has an HDMI port in it, like it's kind of cool for 35 bucks. Slap this thing in there, and you just start streaming stuff. And once they allow developers to start releasing things to it, and like Hulu and all these other services start building it into their apps, like it could be pretty cool. Especially if just like, could you imagine if like if the Twitter app has like a cast button, you can just like cast Twitter to your TV if you want. Why? Why, you want to do that. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Well, like say you're on Twitter, and you're like looking Twitter. at a picture. Like you're in the Twitter app and you're looking at a picture and you want to see it bigger. You just like cast that picture to your TV. Like things like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I um I hit up Nvidia for an official quote, as in like maybe the Shield can do some casting of games or something like that. And like, eh, we're gonna have to get back to you on that. Currently, they are they're looking into it. So I mean, like, that's the type of thing. Yeah, that's the type of stuff I would want to see. To where um I mean, just screw the Oya, screw all that stuff. I mean, just a thirty-five dollar little mirror machine that can do my gaming and all that stuff from the device. I think that'd be really cool. And then I can just use like my phone as a controller and like look at the TV. That'd mm -hmm. be kind of dope. That'd be awesome. And that stuff can come, I think. Although, I mean, $35, like the price is ridiculous. As soon as it was announced, I, I purchased it off Google Play. And for some reason, people were getting theirs like the next day off Amazon and crap. And I had to wait till like the following week to get mine. I was like, screw this. I was like the first person to buy it. And uh, I have to wait. Either way, I mean, $35, it's a steal. Although, let me say, so when 
so when you open up the box and they show you how to like what's recommended to use it, so you plug it into the HDMI, but then they also want the power adapter to go into the wall, hmm. and um, they don't recommend the USB power at the same time. Like your TV, like that's the way I would use it. I would want to have it stuck in the HDMI with the adapter going into a USB port. But then people have to make sure that their TV has like all the right connections and blah blah blah. It just seems. The whole, I just wish it was powered by the HDMI. That's yeah. what I'm trying to get at. Like, yeah. not having a, yeah. a separate power source would have been great. Yeah, I wish there was a way to do that, but I don't know that HDMI ports can produce that kind of power. Um, apparently, there was, like, some backlash about, like, that people thought Google was hiding the idea that you had to also use a USB cord to power it. I think Android Central wrote, like, a little piece up about it. They were telling people, like, calm down. Like, Google made it, like... They made it obvious that there's USB, and like I kind of agree. Like I knew it was USB powered. Actually, I think in our June report where we wrote about the Chrome key, we talked about it being powered by USB. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I played with it for like a couple days and did a bunch of like tutorial videos and overviews and stuff. And like it, it's kind of a cool thing. Like it, I hate to just do the like it just works, but it really does. Like you plug it in and like your phone just kind of connects to it because it's on your Wi-Fi network. It's mm-hmm. kind of awesome. And for thirty-five bucks. So maybe Can't be Motorola, that. Should, Motorola should just made the Moto X $35. And then, like, we wouldn't even have to be talking about it. Like, everyone would have wanted to buy a Moto X. Yeah. Anyways. So that's the Chromecast. What Do you, do you like Chrome Key or Chromecast? Uh, I, like I, like, Chrome I like Chrome Key. Yeah. Because I don't, like I don't get... Yeah, it's a key, man. I don't get Chromecast. Like, I get it, but I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. And I get why they switched, because, like, you cast things... Yeah. Right? And so they were tried to be consistent there. Like, yeah. you have a Chrome key, but you cast things. Now you have a Chromecast, and you cast things. I guess that makes sense. But yeah, I like Chrome key. It sounds better. I like Chrome it's easier key. to say. Chromecast yeah. just sounds weird. Chromecast. They could have called it, like, Chrome Fling or something. You fling things to your TV. I don't know. I like that. Kind of no. Nah, so are these, are these back in stock anywhere? I think Amazon's, like, shipping in, like, three months now or something. They showed up on Best Buy yesterday, but then after five minutes, they were gone. Like, I was, like, I started writing it up. Oh, my God, Chromecast is back in Best Buy. No, it's gone. <laughs> so, yeah. that was, uh, yeah. who knows? So, yeah, Best Buy kind of had them for a little bit. And I think yeah. Best Buy, if you're buy, if you able to buy them from there, they're still selling them, and they come with, with the, the Netflix uh, promotion. Netflix, with Netflix. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, there's some confusion there. I think the Google Play, like, inventory that they had, they sold through that and their Netflix promos over, but I'm sure like Best Buy bought like enough that all came with the Netflix promo, and so until they sell through that, you'll probably still be able to. Yeah, you'll probably still be able to get it with Best Buy for a while, assuming they get stock anytime soon. So yeah, Chromecast is out there. That was a little. That was a sort of a big deal, right? Hmm. And uh, oh yeah, it's huge. And then this was the other one, right? This was the other one. I, I'm Next just I'm just gonna be honest. I still can't see you. So whatever, if you hold up something, I won't be able to tell. <laughs> you really still can't see me? <laughs> no. Can everyone else see me? I'm, I'm guessing so, or else they'd be crying about it in the chat. I'm the only one that can't see you. Yeah, that's kind of sad. I was like holding up the Nexus Seven. Oh, how's it look? <laughs> I feel <laughs> I feel blind. Yeah. So Nexus Seven was the other big announcement. Well, 4.3, but 4.3 is eh. We really care oh, about it. Oh, it's so thing. it's so meh. Yeah, it's super mad. So, new Nexus 7. It's got a vertical Nexus logo, which is kind of weird because you hold it as a portrait device. Uh, camera on the back. It's got a big old, what is it, 1920 by 1200 resolution display. So, it's super Correct. high resolution. They actually said the highest resolution 7 inch tablet or something like that. In the world. Cool. Yeah, it has a notification light in the chin, which is awesome. Um, the new sort of, yeah, soft touch back matte finish rather than that weird, like, faux leather thing they did last year, which I didn't mind, by the way, but this is a little bit, this feels a little more high-end, I would say. Uh, what's Snapdragon S4 Pro quad-core, same thing that's in the Nexus 4. So it's even beastier than the Moto X? Pfft, fail. <laughs> Except that it's not, because I think it uses <laughs> Create 200 cores, but that's another deal. Um, 2 gig of RAM, 16 to 32 gig storage, 229 for the 16 gig. And to 69 for the 32 gig, and then there's an LTE model, 
which is 350. And that's cool because that works. It's one model, and it works on, like, everyone's LTE network, except Sprint, I think. They got screwed. Yeah, Sprint got screwed. But it's, like, one LTE chip that works on Verizon, AT&T, Timo, all these other bands that we don't use in the U.S. It's kind of cool. That's super awesome that there's one model. I know that wasn't you peeing, right? That was, like, actual liquid. <laughs> That's de- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, um, anyways, but when they announced this LTE thing that, you know, works on everywhere, everyone's like, oh, my God, the next new Nexus phone is going to be on Verizon because they have LTE now with Google. And it's like, no, not really. Hey, it doesn't really mean that. Know. It doesn't mean that, but you never know. Wouldn't that well, be cool? Yeah, look. We don't know, but it doesn't mean that there's, like, guaranteed to be, like, a no. Verizon Nexus phone. <laughs> Dude, nothing is ever confirmed. Like, we no, can't. It's it's, we're months ahead. Well, it, tablets are data only. And so LTE and tablets, you only need to access the data. It, to make phone calls on Verizon's network, you still need their 3G networks. So. Mm-hmm. so until we get VO LTE, we're not going to get a Nexus, I don't think, on Verizon. But... This does sort of open it up to that, since there's obviously a chip, an LTE modem, that can do all those networks. There's no reason a phone can't have that chip in it, but you would have to be VOLTE again. Yeah. So yeah, Nexus 7's out. We'll review that at some point, but now we're sort of invested in the Moto X. So if you're waiting for a Nexus 7 review, I apologize. We'll try to have it out by, like, end of next week-ish. Ish. Yeah. Nice tablet, though. I like it. I mean, I'm not a big tablet guy, but it's a nice little tablet. I've I been trying to, like... Mm. I've been well. I've been trying to like carry it around the house with me, like instead of using my phone, like trying to use an X7 to be like to be like become a tablet guy. And it's like <laughs> I can do it with this tablet because it's small enough. Like you can actually like throw it in your shorts pocket or something. But that's stupid. <laughs> that's... I know. I, I uh, I'm really upset about the chin. Like that's awesome that they cut down the side bezels, but why not cut down the vertical bezels as well? That's uh, that's really ugly looking. What I would what I would say to that is because. If you're gaming or something on it, you turn it sideways, and then you have thumb placements. Like, you can put uh, your thumbs on those spots. I get that's, that. I mean, but... that's the only reason I could give you. I don't no, know totally, that. totally. It makes sense a little bit, but it still doesn't look, I guess, good. I don't know. I would have... Like an all-display front. Yeah, I would have gone... Yeah, totally. I would have gone uh, form over function, I think, when it comes to the tablet stuff. So... <laughs> You'd rather just have a really pretty tablet, even if it can't do anything, because it's all display? Dude, that'd be awesome. <laughs> like, why not? Why not? Oh, it has uh, dual stereo speakers. There's yeah. still no boom sound. but Not boom not. sound. Have you tried out that uh, little 3D stereo feature, whatever? I don't know. Oh, what they put that? out they, they put out some, like, demo where you could test out your stereo surround sound or whatever, and it looked <laughs> no. silly. It was from the official Nexus Twitter. I'll forward it to you. It wasn't anything yeah, special, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I must have missed that completely. Yeah. Sorry, Nexus Twitter. Uh, so, yeah, so that was the Google event, and then again we got 4.3, which is rolled out essentially everywhere to every Nexus except Verizon and Sprint's Galaxy Nexus. But uh, Nexus 4 got it. My Nexus 10 got it. All the Nexus 7s have it. It's not really anything that like you need to run an update to, although <laughs> it apparently fixes the original Nexus 7 of all of its jank. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean, it, it seems to perform better, definitely better. But um, I don't know if it's it's not 100% better, but it's definitely a good 75% better, yeah. I'd say. I mean, a lot of, like, that lagginess, that initial lag of where you turn it on from lock screen to the home screen is, like, a lot more, a lot snappier. Yeah. So that's, that's good. good. That's good. So now everyone doesn't have to upgrade. Because it was almost like they bought a product and like a year later they it's it like was dead. Dying. Yeah. yeah, they have to spend another two hundred bucks to get anyone. Man, yeah. yeah. fun stuff. All right, so what? Oh, so then the other thing last week was then the new droids. Oh, uh, four. Wait, three. Yeah, three more phones to talk about. <laughs> three, three more phones. We could just blaze through these, but um. Yeah, so I was at that event. Uh, well, out in San Francisco, I was at a little special event to look at those. Not at the like press event in New York, but uh, I, I don't know. They're the new droids. and it, I think the weirdest thing about it was that they announced all of those, that Motorola let Verizon do that before they unveiled the Moto X, which I don't understand whatsoever. Like Maybe that just shows you how much power Verizon really has. 
Like Verizon was like, I know you want to do this Moto X thing, but we sell droids. So we're going <laughs> to announce these three phones that have almost identical everything to your little Moto X. We're going to do that right before you can. I just yeah. thought it was so weird. I don't know. And the phones are ugly. I'm sorry. I'm so sick of the Kevlar droid look. It's just ugly. And the Ultra has like a super glossy backside. Like, I heard a lot of people talk about the Galaxy S4 as having this really gross, slippery backside. Like, the Droid Ultra takes it to a new level. It's like a new level of gloss grossness. I really like the Ultra in red, though. It looks kind of good. I know you do. I like the red Ultra from the front, where you can only see the red, like, rim. The yeah. backside, dude, it's pretty hideous. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. If you just look at the back, I think I have a couple pictures of it. It's just, like, it's too much. I kind of like the, the Veri uh, Verizon employee exclusive, too, with the red racing stripe. That one's pretty dope. All right, that, kinda, that one's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been seeing all that. the droid commercials on TV and stuff, and I'm like... Man, this is awesome. Like, it just reminds me of, like, back in the day. Because they just show off a little bit of the phone design yeah. here and there. And it's hot. I think it's cool. I think it's a good. It's a step in the right direction for the Droid brand. I think it's finally... It's got some good specs. It's, you know, it's based on a great device. And I think it's kind of... It's good for the Droid brand. What what Whether they're, like, good phones, you know, to us or anything is kind of mm, right. uh, irrelevant, basically. Because we're already over them. So I'm, one thing I'm kind of surprised about, though, is like when they announce the new droids, you know, they're the same specs as the Moto X, essentially, and they're priced at premier pricing, like $199, and, mm -hmm. and like everyone seems so surprised that the Moto X is priced at what it is. Like, it's the same phone, really. It's a little bit different size display and looks different, but like you should have seen. Like, I thought we kind of tried to warn people a little bit. Like, I know I was talking about people in this comments and some other stuff, like, it might not be the cheap phone you think it is. Like, look at the droids. So, I don't know. But, yeah, they're all out there. I still don't understand why we need an Ultra and a Max. That's just well, that's stupid. what I was saying. It's stupid. That doesn't make yeah, and sense. It's just, it's just a way for Verizon to go, yeah, but if you spend another 100 bucks, you I know, get, like, but that's... 48 hours of battery life. It, it's stupid, but that's why they're doing it, right? Of so they course. can upgrade people, so they can get you to jump up and buy more. That's evil. That's some evil stuff. It is, and it's three hundred dollars, I think, for the max version. It's like an extra hundred bucks. You get yeah. double the storage, but and you also get longer battery. But yikes! That's yeah, crazy. Droid Zap. Don't forget about Droid Zap. That's right. I, f I forgot to mention that today when I did that spec comparison post. <laughs> I, sh I, I almost put in a I special care. line that said like has Droid Zap, and there was gonna be like a big no for the Moto X because the Moto <laughs> X doesn't have it. It doesn't have Droid Zap. No, Droid Zap is like exclusive to the <laughs> new Droid family, and I still don't understand Droid Zap. And when I tried to get them to like show me how it worked, they couldn't show me how it worked. So because no one stay, knows. Yeah, stay tuned <laughs> for more on Droid Zap. Well, it doesn't like make any sense. So is it over over the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and all the phones connect, and then you just fling pictures to other phones? Like seriously, seriously like the. I don't want to like completely trash on the guy that was showing us the demos, but he was like so excited about Droid Zap, and he was like, "Can you just zap it?" And he was like, "Flee!" <laughs> and like he was zapping like to no one. Like they only had one phone that could do Aww. this fling thing, and so he was zapping it, and it was like going nowhere. Like he didn't have another phone where he's like, "See, here it is being zapped." Like he was just flinging. Like he thought that was the. Uh, it was kind. Of, it was. It was a little embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how it works. Like, there's apparently going to be an app so other people can droid zap too, maybe. Yeah. And then, like, I think it does it. It might be Bluetooth, but it might just be data. <laughs> it's a weird thing that it has the stupidest name ever, so I don't. I hope it just goes away. They should just touch phones and beam it like every other normal <laughs> Android device, but whatever. <laughs> I like beaming. I like bumping. Bumping's fun. Like a little bump? <laughs> a little bump action? Yeah. So yeah, the droid family's out there. Pretty exciting. Um, yeah. Oh, and next week, Tim, you're going to the LG G2 event. Oh, I am, yes. LG G2. I got an early flight. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. That phone has me probably more excited than... Well, no, I wouldn't say it had me more excited than the Moto X, but I'm really excited for just the design of the phone itself. It's something new. And uh, you know I love new stuff, so... I well, think so, it's great. Well, so, like, LG... Uh, so, Moto Moto was in New York this week, right? They announced this Moto X, and it's got a 720p display and dual-core processor. 199 on contract, flagship-type pricing. Next week, 
LG is going to announce a phone with the Snapdragon 800, which is like the newest, most powerful processor <laughs> ever created for a mobile device, and a crazy new display that's 5.2 inches, and they've done some new tech with it's like their own display or something. And all, like all this other stuff, right? And it'll be the same price as the Moto yeah. X. Now, now, granted, you can't like custom colors and all that stuff, but like it'll have a Snapdragon 800 in it. Who knows? They might even throw in like three gig of RAM. We're not really sure. It's probably two, but like I it was that's gonna, be, like, gonna 3. happen. Five or something like that. Yeah. Some crazy number. But like that's gonna happen. And that's gonna happen. Price is the Moto that's X. Gonna be awesome. It's gonna be. And so everyone's legit. just gonna go see. I think one of the sad things is like last year when Motorola announced like the Razer HD and the Razer Max HD, I remember going like these are like they only have one gig of RAM and the processor is old and all this stuff and I feel like everyone's saying that again. And I'm trying not to say it because I don't know that I fully feel the same way this year. For LG? No, for Motorola. Oh, Motorola. With the Moto X. Yeah. yeah, remember when the Max HD and the HD came out last year and they had like the Snapdragon, what was it? It was a, they're dual core processors, but they only had one gig of RAM and like these terrible displays and oh, I just know. like, and and it like the month before Samsung announced like two gig of RAM and the Galaxy S3 and like this new processor and like Moto was like four months behind. It almost feels a little bit that way, except I feel like they kind of did it on purpose this time. It's just weird. Yeah, um, it's pretty interesting. LG has just like become such. Like, they, they kind of demand attention now just because they're getting a lot better, I think, when it comes to the hardware and the software stuff. I mean, back in the day, they were just like, who cares, LG device, Spectrum, all this stuff. But uh, the G2 looks pretty legit. It does look legit. So Except some guy in the chat just said, LG breaks more than Derek Rose. <laughs> That's, <really funny. laughs> That's hilarious. Um too I would agree. Soon. This phone looks pretty cool. Assuming they can put it on more than AT and T and Sprint, like that should be exciting. Yeah, people are saying it could be the Nexus Five. I don't know if that'll happen. These specs seem a little way too powerful to be a Nexus device, but does uh, it has on-screen navigation buttons, right? Yes. Yes, it does. Well, yeah, because right, they go the transparent. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's right. so hot. It's gonna be hot, dude. It's gonna be. It's gonna be legit. It's gonna. It's gonna be a cool phone. I, I just so. wish I could like. I just wish I could like customize it on a website and make it look the way I want. Of course, of course. <laughs> oh, Motorola! What did you do? So yeah, that's happening next week. So we'll be all over that LG G2 stuff. We'll have a yeah. Moto X review probably Monday or Tuesday. Probably an X7 review next week as well. I don't think we're reviewing the Chromecast, by the way, everyone. Just go read our like overview. Like it tells you everything you need to know about it. Is it Absolutely. worth it? If you got 35 bucks to blow and you don't have a smart TV, go yes. buy it. Like it's yeah. a no-brainer. It's yeah. 35 bucks and it'll make it's it, it's awesome. It's, it's going to make your enough. TV better. So. Yes. Exactly. Yes. I can jump on board with that. Yeah. So uh, I don't know what else you want to talk about. We just wanted to chat for a minute about all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and then after the G2, it's the Galaxy Note 3. That's right. Note 3 eventually. Probably at IFA if they continue that trend. Although, IFA. does it seem like Samsung is going to now get out of IFA? Like, they don't really do events anymore, so... Well, they might as well get out of IFA, but yeah. I think this might be the last year, possibly. I think the Note brand is big enough. They're going to do a separate event for the Note 3, I think. Uh, I can see that. That's just my prediction, anyway. They're not going to do it at IFA. They'll do it, like, the week after. Or week before to steal everyone's thunder. Something yeah. like that. Well, because um, is that when uh, Sony's supposed to announce the Honami device the as Honami, well? Honami, yeah. I don't know. I, I think don't it's really supposed to be pretty it. legit. <laughs> like, Did I just say I, that? I yeah. Do. Like, I don't care about Sony, but, I mean, the phone, of course, it's like, what, Snapdragon 800. It's got 20 yeah. megapixel camera, 1080p display. It's like, it's their 5-inch flagship device. Right. And, and available be in yeah, the UK be... for 18 months. Yes, and then AT&T exclusive for the remainder of its life. <laughs> when it's already like outdated, yeah. Yeah. I just don't. I yeah. I have a hard time caring for about anything that Sony's doing until they release something in the U.S. like on time. Like yeah. we talk about U.S. phones. That's like what we do. So of until course. Sony like decides to actually enter the U.S. market, like I don't care. I know that sounds really bad, but mm. no, no. Mm. If they don't concern wait, is, U.S. buyers, then whatever. Wait, is the Honami... Is, I thought it was like a 6.3-inch device. I thought it was like huge. No, so. that's the uh, that's the other one that tan... Oh, the, like Ultra. Yeah. No, that's the no, Z Ultra, no? Yeah, I think it was something like that. The Honami yeah. is the 5-inch 
beast spec one. I'm sorry, the Z Ultra. Z Ultra. Yeah. Zoltan. Yeah, so that'll that'll happen. Um, when when is IFA end of August? We're not going by it's the way. It's September. IFA September. Oh, is it uh, September? I always uh, thought it was uh, in August, but maybe not. So that's happening soon. Yeah, I, I have a feeling, though, Note 3 will be, like, its own event. I don't think it's going to be, like, a song and dance Broadway type of thing in New York City, but it'll be probably its own thing. I'm so offended by all that crap that Samsung does. Why can't they just put on a regular press event and just give us the damn phone? They're so big, like, can't... Like, where do you go from there? <laughs> like, for the Galaxy S5, like... How do you top, like, a ridiculous Broadway show at Radio City Music Hall? Like, yeah. where, do you even, where do you go from there? <laughs> you, you, there is nowhere to go. Yeah. No. Unless, like, they take it to the moon, and they do their event from the moon. That's the only way. Event from, they're just going to build, like, a city called Samsung City and just, like, announce everything there. I like that. Sam City? Sam City? Sit, like, Sam Sim City, city but Sim City. Yeah. I mean, same city. Same I, they, city. I mean, they make everything that could power it. They make washers, dryers, TVs, vacuums, all that crap, I think, right? They make milk. They distribute milk, man. They're ridiculous. What? They're huge. Yeah. See? Right? They, they could be a self... Samsung could make a self-sustaining Samsung city. They Sam could world. They could do it. Yes, yeah, Sam world. That would be really scary. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, and then October, if we just want to continue on with the schedule, October is like new oh, man. New oh. Nexus. And October's probably, the month. And probably Key Lime Pie. Like, that's when we're supposed to get that. I'm Do I need to pull hungry. up my, my schedule of events? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, you pull up your schedule of events. And then I, we have uh, the, the one and only Taylor Wimberly in our comment section saying, why can't you fly with the wood version of the Moto X? <laughs> and uh, Taylor, if you're listening, you're just going to have to ask Ron um, why you can't fly with a wood. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave that one to Ron to explain. Yeah. Um, so I show October 15th is the tentative date for Google's next big event with like mm. five things on schedule or, or like on the uh, agenda. Key Lime Pie, at least three Nexuses, including a watch. Oh. And maybe even a maybe even a Nexus 4 rehash or something. Nexus 4 rehash? <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. Oh, a watch is something I'm really looking forward to. Like a Google-designed watch, not Sony yeah. or Motorola or whatever. Mm -hmm. Not like a smart watch like a Pebble or any of the crap. Just like a straight-up Android Google Nexus watch would be so... Yeah. Dope. That's what I've been waiting for, man. That's what I want. Yeah, I, yeah, I want a like a nice looking watch. Like the nice Pebble doesn't watch. look terrible to me, but I've kind it of over so it. It looks so cheap to me. I'm sorry. The the it, screen looks so it, janky. It, it does look a little cheap. I'll give you that. Yeah, it's and I'm not. Cool, though, I don't but, like the whole cheap aspect. <laughs> yeah, I want like a like a high end like smart watch that actually works really well. Yeah, I want something nice. Yeah. Just make it look like those uh, concept videos that we've seen for it, you know, and and then There's I will give you my money because it looks take awesome. My money, yeah. Yeah. All right, sweet. Well, I don't know what else you want to talk about. Unless you have anything else. No, I got nothing. We can wrap it up. Yeah, we talked for like over an hour. Didn't even realize that. So uh, much just, going on. Oh, so much. So I don't think, much. Yeah, Droids, Nexus, Chromecast, four point three. Yeah. Guess that's about it. Yeah, lots of stuff. All right. Anyway, so thanks for joining us, everyone. We just wanted to uh, chat about all this stuff. We haven't been able to just like kind of rant about it or talk about it off the cuff. Um, we'll have reviews up, like I said, next week. Moto X, probably next to seven. Tim will be at the LG G2 event on. Is that Wednesday or is that Thursday? Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, so that happens Wednesday. Uh, yeah, we'll have more Moto X coverage. I know whether you're a hater, lover. Just tune into it and just see, and then have an open mind. Yeah, just have, yeah, an, have open an open mind. mind. Don't be so meh. Just it's just a phone, people. Let's just let's be open to it. <laughs> yeah, let's all relax a little bit and just and just wait. <laughs> just just wait. God, they're mad. They're so mad. <laughs> all right, guys. We will. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to do a show next week because Tim's in New York. Like we're traveling. It's kind of a crazy time right now. We'll try to do something. We'll try to get the whole crew together. And do something. Soon. Soon. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a Just safe, guys. safe weekend. Oh, Peace. Yeah. Friday. Friday. Peace. <laughs>